Hello and welcome to E Magazine. I'm your host, Brenton Emichaba. Thank you so much for joining me on this lovely Monday. Now, today is Real Mondays where we look at theatre, film, movies, and many more things to do with the film industry in Kenya. Now, today we're looking at a special film that's going to premiere on 15th and 16th of this month, which is called Pillar Talk. And joining me on studios today is the scriptwriter as well as the director later on after we take a break. I want to talk about all about Pillar Talk and get to know what exactly this film is all about. Thank you so much for joining me, Thanks Charles Chinchori. Yeah. How are you doing today? Oh, great. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Now, I obviously, we want to talk about Pillow Talk and get to know about it. It's a project you've been working on for how long now? Um, since 2017. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's been a process. But since Alice got on board the director, it's yeah, since 2019. Wonderful. A whole year. Wow, it's a whole year. And finally, we're going to get to see the masterpiece you guys have been yeah, working on. Yeah, what we've on. been working on. Now, yeah. tell me about um, Pillow Talk. What's the theme behind it? What's the story behind Pillow Talk? Uh, it's about trust. Um, learning to give up control, mm -hmm. you know, to a degree. It's a bit of romance here and there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but mostly it's about trust. About trust, about romance. And when you were coming up with, you know, with this particular story, what was going through your mind? What inspired you to write this particular script and this particular movie? Um, I just wanted to undress my characters emotionally, mm -hmm. right? Um, just get rid of all the pre um, the pretense, mm -hmm. um, bring down all the walls, and just expose them as just two human beings mm -hmm. being vulnerable with each other. Wow, you're really yeah. not going to give us any spoilers. No, no. I really <laughs> want spoilers. <laughs> no, you want to spoilers show up on Saturday. Okay, yeah. so what are we going to be expecting from this film? Um, we are going to be expecting... Um, I, w I would think intellectually you'll be challenged and also emotionally too. Um, there will also be one hour, 15 minutes of entertainment. Mm -hmm. yeah. One hour, 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Is there any crime in it? Is there any drama in it? There's drama. Uh -huh. There's lots of, um, if you can call, yeah, there's a bit of crime in it. Uh -huh. I'm a lawyer. I see crime in everything. <laughs> <laughs> True say. Yeah. Now tell me a little bit about the actors that are going to be um, in this movie and why you particularly chose those people to, you know, to play the role of the yeah. characters you had um, imagined in this film. Okay, first of all, there's the, it's, a, it's two people in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, one is called um, Muhugu Teori. She plays a character called Asta. Mm -hmm. Asta is one of my most favorite ca female characters I've ever penned. Mm -hmm. And I've penned some really brilliant female characters uh -huh. in my life, yeah. <laughs> so she's quite something. She was played by a um, lady called Muhugu Teori. Um, when I saw her Muhugu act, we call her Karo. She mm -hmm. likes to be called Muhugu Teori. <laughs> That's a long name. <laughs> it's, a, yeah, it's a tongue twister. <laughs> I know I can't <laughs> even say that. I don't yeah. really try it. Yeah, anyway, so she, the moment I saw her do her thing, I was like, yeah, that's Asta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm um, the gentleman Osoro, the character. He's played by a guy called Emmanuel Mugo. Mm -hmm. um, Emmanuel, he wasn't exactly how I had envisioned my character in my head, mm -hmm. um, but he really rose up to the occasion. Okay. Yeah, he made me like what he was doing. He mm -hmm. redefined the character in a way that sort of befitted him and me also. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think we, he gave a really layered performance. I'm actually quite happy you mentioned that because, of course, um, as the individual conceptualized this whole you know, story, um, going through the process of you know, changing from just being words to an actual film, um, what do you think has changed from seeing the final product and from when you conceptualize the story? What do you think has changed Throughout the Here's process. the most interesting thing. Um, you know, when, when I'm writing the script, I am the master of mm -hmm. that world. I'm like, as far as those characters are concerned, I'm God. Right? I can do anything I want with them. Yes. When now it comes to translating them from page to script, I have to give up that, you know, godness of it. Yes. I have to give up control. Much like these characters, you know, it's, about, it's a story about giving up control, trusting. Mm -hmm. And for me, I also now had to learn to give up control of that story to the vision of somebody else because mm -hmm. um scripting is it's more like uh i'm like an architect yeah right somebody else has to come build the house mm -hmm. and i have to also like now trust, trust the vision the of the director the actors oh man it involved a lot of trust and giving mm -hmm. up control mm -hmm. and just not wanting to budge in and say yeah no that's not how it is in the script you know mm -hmm. it takes a lot of you have to give up and okay. just trust somebody else that's wonderful. So you'll say um, that you're very proud of the final product that yeah, you have right absolutely. now. Yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. Now, another thing I want to look at, Charles, is of course, it, you know, it's been one year working on this particular project. What would you say was the most tedious part of the process of putting Pillow Talk together? 
Well, for me as a as a script writer, I'm sure the director had and producer had her own, you know, problems <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> leading up to the making of this movie. But for me, I was super nervous about, you know, making sure that the characters, the actors nail it. Mm -hmm. Because it's one of those scripts where if the actors don't pull it off, oh man, it's going to be terrible. Yeah. Right? Nobody will want to watch that movie. Mm -hmm. So for me, I was super nervous about them, you know, rehearsing. Um, when I see a problem, like somebody hasn't yet mastered the lines, mm -hmm. I would be so worried. It was mm -hmm. so stressful because I'd be like, oh shit, we are going to make, oh, <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> we are going to make a terrible movie. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they, they really, um, they, at, they made finally, it. I, yeah. I found that I didn't have much to be worried about. For any part, everything yeah. just worked through. So you're more worried if the characters, I mean, your your actors just don't get it together in time and when you want to finish this project. Yeah, because mine, mine were purely artistic, creative uh -huh. worries. So the film only involves two characters throughout the whole time? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, here's and where, why did you take that angle? Um, it was, um, I wrote a script back when I was going through a moment of, Trying to figure out who I am as a human being. We all have those <laughs> you know? moments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, mine came when I was about 27 years old. Uh -huh. You know, um, getting all these questions about who am I in this? What am I doing? And yeah, and it f you will find that these characters are raising mm -hmm. some of these things in yes. their dialogue with each other. Um, so, and I like having these kind of, kinds of conversations with people too. Like even strangers in a bus, people in a club, you'd just find me having pretty existential mm -hmm. um, kind of conv conversations with mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, that's what the script, it reflected me back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I guess I figured it, I didn't figure it out. I just got satisfied in not figuring it out. You mean you, you have a whole movie from that experience? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> a beautiful experience for me, yeah. So wh what was the most memorable part for you um, working on this project? Um, and of course... I'm sure I know yeah, this month, this weekend is going to be one of the most memorable. Yeah. But throughout the process, what would you say was the most memorable? Um, ha having a team come together. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, that was another challenge. Uh -huh. You know, like finding a director. Yes. Um, finding somebody who would trust. Because even before me and before me and Alice got together on this, uh, Alice is the director. Yes. Yeah. You guys will meet her later. <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah. Anywhere. <laughs> so the hardest part was sort of getting the money to make the movie. Oh, mm -hmm. that was a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, at first we had envisioned a small budget, 300k. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we would meet people. Small with, budget. Yeah, <laughs> small, yeah, we would meet people who would be like, oh yeah, yeah, this seems intriguing. Sure, we'll have the money for you next month. And then we would even like cast people. We had another, I had another director. Mm -hmm. um, some, someone else was producing Nini. And now people would make all these promises and then they wouldn't come through. So now I would even have like to call the actors and tell them, mm -hmm. yeah, well, due to lack of funding, mm -hmm. you guys won't have a job. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I guess the highlight really, one of the highlights for me was when Alice looked at the script. And she said, yeah, let's do this. Let's work together. Yeah. And you guys built this masterpiece. Yeah, like finally, have. finally someone else uh -huh. will put their money where their mouth is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And having mentioned, of course, the, 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 the difficulties you have to go in terms of getting the right, the fundings for this particular movie, what do you expect to get out of this? Not only the message that you want to portray within this movie, and also, you know, financial-wise from this particular uh, project you've worked on. What else do I expect? Yeah. Well, yeah. there's always the joy of knowing that you started something and no matter how hard it became, you mm -hmm. managed to see it through. Very true. Yeah, I feel that like that's integral to everyone who is involved in the project. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the rest of it is like seeing other people, you know, um, seeing people, they are satisfied with what we made, with mm -hmm. what we had, and also seeing everybody satisfied you know, their, their hard work has paid off. Yeah. Yeah, that for me will really mean a lot. Mm -hmm. And also seeing my story on the big screen. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Don't I forget me when that. you're famous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't die. So, um, how much are the tickets going for? Give us the information. When when is premiering, the tickets? Well, how do we get it? How do we get to watch it? Okay, so um, the tickets are on mooc.com. You can get your tickets there. Mm -hmm. For the premiere night, Saturday 15th. Um, 6 p.m. The tickets will be going for 1500 bob. Mm -hmm. That's for the premiere night. Um, you can also we'll have another screening on Sunday. Um, that will be 1000 bob. Mm -hmm. That will be 6 p.m. Sunday 17th, 16th. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, there's also a pay bill number which I don't have right now, but <laughs> we'll, we'll share. Alice, yes. Alice will share. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, I don't have it off head. Well. Charles, I want our, our viewers to get to know what we're talking about in terms of Pillow Talk. So let's take a look at the trailer and right. familiarize ourselves with Pillow Talk.
There you have it. That was Pillar Talk. Um, thank you so much, Charles, for joining me today. Now we're going to get to so talk much. to Alice and get to see more on the director's point of view, what exactly okay. went down with Pillar Talk. Yeah. Now we're going to take a short commercial break, but do not go anywhere because Alice Combine is going to join us later on.